two concepts that cause deviation from your usual Mendelian laws of inheritance are incomplete penetrance and variable expressivity. And oftentimes students will get these mixed up and it's also possible that students will get incomplete penetrance confused with incomplete dominance. And so first we'll talk about this one and then distinguish it from incomplete dominance and then we'll get to variable expressivity and talk about the differences between the two. So incomplete penetrance essentially refers to when someone has the genotype that results in that phenotype, but they don't express that phenotype. And that is something that uh, occurs a lot. One example you'll see quite often is the BRCA1 gene, BRCA1, and that is a gene that is involved in familial breast cancer. But the interesting thing is that with, uh, because of the incomplete penetrance, only 80% of the people with this BRCA1 mutation will end up exhibiting breast cancer throughout their life. And so that means that it has 80% penetrance. Of the people that have this gene mutation, 80% of them will exhibit that phenotype. And notice that I said here this is a lifetime penetrance. Penetrance can be listed throughout a person's lifetime and usually that's how it's done. It's throughout a lifespan, how often will they exhibit the phenotype if they have that genotype. But other cases, for example, Huntington's disease or other things like that, might have a 30-year penetrance and a 40-year penetrance. And they're looking at, in the first 30 years of life, how many of those people with the genotype will express that phenotype. So penetrance means that you have the genetic mutation that results in a phenotype, but you may or may not express it. And the lower the penetrance, the less the likelihood that you will express it. Now let's contrast this with incomplete dominance. These are two very different concepts that happen to share one word. Incomplete dominance means that the dominant allele isn't completely dominant. And so, for example, if you have red as the dominant and white as the recessive allele, you'll show a blended phenotype. So it will be a pink phenotype when you have one of each if you're heterozygous for red and white. So that's incomplete dominance. Incomplete penetrance means that you have the genotype that has been known to express this phenotype, but there's a decent chance that it will not be expressed or it might not be expressed during a 30 year span or a 40 year span or something like that. Penetrance, as you can guess, makes it a lot harder to do genetic analyses because if everyone who has that genotype doesn't express that phenotype, it becomes a lot more complex to figure out how the heredity pattern has gone. Variable expressivity is exactly as it sounds, variable expression. And what that means is that individuals who have that phenotype won't always express the phenotype in the same way. It expresses itself in variable ways. And one example you might see of that, this is not MCAT material, but it is something that's good for illustration, is Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome is a, it's a mutant phenotype that results in people being tall and thin with long fingers and can also result in cardiac problems and a lot of other physiological issues due to the lengthened uh, height and the, the different phenotype. But the interesting thing is that even though someone has Marfan syndrome and it's, if it's penetrant and if they are displaying that phenotype, they might display it in different ways. Certain people with Marfan syndrome simply are very tall and thin with long fingers and toes. Others will have cardiac problems and other physiological issues. And so the variable expressivity shows up because all of those people, the tall, thin ones with no other symptoms and the tall, thin ones with the cardiac problems, they all are expressing the Marfan's phenotype, but they're expressing it in different ways. And so that's where variable expressivity shows up. And that's another consideration when you're looking at things that deviate from Mendel's laws of genetic inheritance.